Now, we are a nation of takeaway diners, spending three times more on fast food and restaurants than we do on electricity. New technology is about to make it even easier to order your favourite meals. It's a new economy and it's a new way of doing things. Because you don't have to do much, you just press it and then you order it and it's done. Anything you can do in restaurant, you can now also do in delivery. It's been a while since the famous Golden Arches looked like this. The future of your favourite fast food. Think drones. Even driverless delivery. And virtual reality pizzas. All as your local takeaway goes high tech. Right now, Australia's fast food industry is undergoing a massive transformation. Gone are the days when ordering in store was the only option. Now you can design your own gourmet creation and have it delivered to your front door. Yes, it's still traditional modes of transport for now, but how we order our restaurant meal is changing fast. Do you use Uber Eats? I do. What do you like about it? Uh, the quickness of it actually, how fast it is. Uber Eats. Uber Eats all the way? Yes, definitely. Wh why? Just because there's so much option. It's estimated 8 million Aussies are using delivery apps every year. And while Uber Eats is the original and still the most popular, its main competitors are closing in. Levi Aaron is from Deliveroo. We're able to take that energy, that passion that we have for food and make that something that's very real for our customers. We only develop, we only work with food. We only focus on food. We're not going to get into logistics and deliveries of other things except for food. Deliveroo has ditched its flat $5 delivery fee and it will now cost you between $2.95 and $6.95, depending on your distance from the restaurant. Levi says with so many options available, it's all about standing out from the crowd. Over 60% of customers are seeing cheaper fees and that means that our average delivery fee is becoming cheaper for the customer. Deliveroo is also offering its loyal customers Qantas frequent flyer points with every meal purchased. Menulog is also coming to the party with a similar partnership with Virgin Australia. But marketing expert Dee Madigan says before we get too excited, be sure to ask yourself, are the rewards really worth it? The problem is a lot of people are a little bit dubious about how much reward you actually get. Like you might probably have to order, you know, $100,000 worth of food, you know, to get a free meal. So, yeah, yes, they're there, but whether they're any good, we'll see. In the competitive market of pizza home delivery, this new app from Domino's means you can create your own pizza and see exactly how it will arrive at your front door. Michael Gillespie is from Domino's. Oh, it's exciting because what it really does is allow the digital world and the reality of a customer's living room or their kitchen get joined. So a customer can open up our iPhone or Android app simply click on a table and with a matter of seconds be creating a visual pizza to their liking and it looks for all intents and purposes that it's in their room. Dee Madigan says when choosing a food delivery service there's some important factors to consider. And the first is the ease of use. You don't want to spend more than sort of probably 30 seconds from you know when you look at it to when you order. The other thing is the variety of restaurants on there. The delivery price, how much they add on to the cost of the meal, that's important as well. And the other thing is how long is it going to take and whether there are any rewards programs associated with it that are going to keep you coming back to that app. 